Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. You can call me Gigi or G, I really don't mind. And today we are back for another drag makeover, another eleganza extravaganza. The lucky lad today is Diego Lobo, as you can see in all of his glory. And I am really excited for this one. I wish I had even a tenth of the confidence that Diego seems to put out there with that amazing outfit. I mean, he looks like a, an artist's watercolour set or something. He's so colourful and I basically live 90% of the time in black. Black and grey. I'm very monochrome. So if I could have just a tenth of his flair and style, I would be very happy. But never mind. This is about him, not me. So I'm just going to start off by just trying out some different skin tones for him. Just really want to find one that looks good. I, I was actually quite surprised. All of the other guys that we have made over so far have actually been really good looking <laughs> and they've all been townies that I would never, I would never, no I was just thinking that actually, maybe not Vlad, but apart from them they, I would never really think twice about any of them, but look at his face now, I mean all we did was took off that controversial little tash there and he looked so, so different. And you'll see it in a second when I increase the lip size, which I do just to kind of mimic what drag queens do with their own makeup, to, to over-exaggerate his features. But you'll see once I kind of balance out the size of his lips a bit, he looks so incredible. And that's no lip hate because I have really, really skinny, thin lips and I'm always jealous of all of the Kardashians and everyone else that has massive, massive pouty lips. But yeah, he really does look amazing. And when I take off the eye, the, kind of the charcoal-y eyeshadow too, he... Yeah, Diego, you surprised me. Okay, so this is me zooming in now to do it. You can see just padding it out a little bit, but keeping it quite pouty and cute, which is kind of how his features were. Because when you kind of overdraw your lips, you don't kind of overdraw them to the side, do you? you just do above and below, which is what I've done. Look how cool he looks. Does he not look really good? I'm so surprised. I mean, I should have just finished it there, shouldn't I? I've just been like, no, job, job done. And we just hoiked up the brows there, which we do in every single one, just to over-exaggerate his features. And in this one, I actually leave his hair to the last, because I wasn't really sure what kind of look I wanted to go for with him. He has such an amazing face, I could tell he could literally take any kind of hairstyle. So I just thought, okay, we'll sort the outfit out, and then I can find some hair that's sort of appropriate to it. So we're just going to play around with makeup, and who doesn't like doing that? <laughs> I used to be so much more adventurous, but I think with lockdown and everything, I I honestly couldn't remember the last time I put makeup on. I have been living like a hermit since the UK got put down into lockdown. It's been really scary, but I think things are opening up here again now, so I'm going to have to get my uh, foundation and makeup brushes out, especially when I'm so pale. So here's Diego. He's got such a nice skin colour too. He really looks great with that blue. And as soon as I put it on there, I realised I actually really love that pattern. And it is so Diego. I mean, I, how can I get rid of those trousers? So I thought this time, instead of putting him in a dress, let's do drag with trousers. Let's show, you know, there's so many different outfits you can do, whether it's costumey or high fashion or yeah the guy in some trousers, it can all be drag. So I figured I would challenge myself and try and achieve the same look with those, with keeping his trousers, and I, I love them. So here you can see, I'm trying to balance down the clash of colors. I've been trying a lot of plain black, black tops, which is my own bias and my own fear of color <laughs> coming through there. Why do you try a few pat new ones? I'm not gonna tell you if I land on them, but um, yeah, we tried a few things. And I was really surprised to find out that he was covered in tattoos. Under that big old suit, who knew that he was hiding such character? I, I kind of wish I'd played him a bit more now. I know he's a critic, isn't he? And I mean, he walks around so snooty, I think you can kind of tell that he's um he's one of those, what do they call them, like a taste maker or something like that, one of these people that sets the trends and the taste. Oh, so, so it was me playing around with a furry jacket. I just loved the idea of it. He just seemed so snooty in the street, but you know, it didn't really work with trousers, unfortunately. So you were just trying a few more, a few more black pieces now while I was thinking about what to do with his hair because I was like do we keep it really short and like a little pixie cut because obviously like Liza Minnelli and stuff there's wigs like that that drag queens use quite a lot too it's not all the massive huge um like pageant style hairs there's a real variety oh and this here look at look at oh, the cc at the back of it the line 
I really, really, really wanted to use this top. It looked amazing, it looked high fashion, it was beautiful and it showed off his amazing torso. But yeah, that line was back, so very sadly I had to move on, but it would have been perfect. <sighs> I'm always fooled by my CC, unfortunately, when it comes to these. So yes, then I settled on this one. A cute little bow. I loved the deep v-neck. I feel like he would definitely love that and he wouldn't do any padding either. I feel like he would just be a really like, yeah, high fashion. I keep saying the same things, but that's just how, we, how I feel he would be. Super slender look. And then they, the bows on those shoes were too much, so I kind of settled on a, on a more tame pair. I do think he probably could have been a bit crazier. I could have pushed myself with more colours and clashing patterns and things for him. But maybe this is his just, you know, his casual drag outfit. Maybe he's not performing when he wears his, but he wears his to the bar or something, you know? <laughs> it's not his most exaggerated outfit, but I still think he looks good. And we're playing around with her hairs here. I'm trying to keep the same colour that he had, but maybe next time we'll try a different one. And yeah, his face does suit a lot. I really like this slicked back style because it doesn't cover up any of that deep V that he's got in his top, so that's why I picked that one. And then now we're just trying to find the perfect lipstick. And oh, look how juicy the lips look on that one. I don't know who the CC creator was, but oh, they look scrumptious. Now I think we're just on the finishing touches. Oh, why did I get rid of that blue? I'm annoyed at myself. Do I put it back on? Oh, maybe I made it just a smoky colour instead of the blue. Okay, it's the same one, but just a different colour. Annoyed at myself. See, I try and be daring and then I tone myself down a bit. I need to try and force myself out of my comfort zone. So we're just finishing touches, finding the perfect necklace there. Something to draw the eye down, I imagine, but not to fight with the trousers. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed seeing Diego. I would be really surprised to know how many people have actually played with him in the game. If you have ever played with him, please let me know in the comments because I'm curious. I tried to find one of the most obscure sims to use and I thought it did. So if you have played, let me know. And there we go, that's his look. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was a bit different and a bit of fun and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.